Hello, awesome students. It's Dr. Fultz. Today, I'm going to show you how to do a hangy indent in Microsoft Word for your Works Cited page or your References page. Now, first, you want to make sure you have your entries ready, which in this case we do. We have three of them. I'm going to select them all by holding down Control and then A. Now, once you have them selected, you need to go up into, you can do one of two things, actually. Either A, you can right click and that'll bring up a whole menu for you. And then you want to scroll down to where it says paragraph, which is kind of in that bottom third. And once you scroll down the paragraph, a new window will pop up. If for some reason or another, you're not comfortable right clicking, then what I need you to do is go up into your menu area. You want to find the section that says paragraph in this case here. It's about, you know, the third menu area in for me. And for me, it's under home. For you, it might be under something else such as layout or something to that effect. Once you find the paragraph area, what you need to do is click right where, if you see here, there's a little, little square in the bottom right-hand corner with an arrow. If you click on that, it's for paragraph settings, and it will open up that window once again. So regardless of how you get to that window, you want to open it up. Now, if you look, this window is has two tabs. One tab says indents and spacing. The other tab says lines and page break. What you want to be in is the indents and spacing tab. Now, the next thing that you want to do is you want to take a look. There are four sections. One section is general, indentation, spacing, and then finally preview. You want to look into the indentation section. On the right-hand side, there is a drop-down menu called special. If you click on that drop-down menu, you're going to have two additional choices other than none. One is first line. The other is hanging. You want to click on hanging. Once you click on hanging, if you notice, this right-hand side, it will populate with 0.5 within that field. You wanna keep it like that. Once you do that, you're all done. All you have to do now is click OK, and that's how you get a hanging indent in Microsoft Word. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna walk you through it one more time. I'm gonna undo everything. You undo everything by hitting Control Z, by the way. So first, I have my entries there. I wanna highlight everything. The way I do that is hit Control A. Then you wanna go into the paragraph window. You can do it multiple ways. I like to like right click. And then just scroll down to where it says paragraph. And once you click on paragraph, it pops up for you. Some of you might not feel comfortable. So you want to find paragraph window somewhere up in this menu option. It's likely going to be in that first, I don't know, third or so of it. You can go through home. If you go to, I think it's the layout. Here it is over here. But regardless of how you get to it, I need you to click in the right-hand corner where it highlights, where when you highlight it, it says paragraph settings. And you click on that and the window will pop up. Once this windows pop up, you should be in the tab that says indents and spacing. And then what you want to do is you want to go into the section, the second section that says indentation. Once you're in that second section, you want to click underneath special, the drop down menu. There are two additional choices that pop up. One is first line. The other is hanging. You want to click on hanging. And then if you notice this field over here populates with the 0.5. If it doesn't, for some reason, you want to modify it to 0.5. And once that happens, click OK, and then you get your hanging indent. And that's it. That's all you have to do to create a hanging indent in Microsoft Word. As always, awesome students, I hope you have a great day. And as always, please like and subscribe. Goodbye now.